an unidentified object in Earth orbit, starts stalking Russian spacecraft. If a mysterious object suddenly appears in space and then starts maneuvering as if it's under directed control, people are going to start asking a lot of questions. The disturbing appearance sparks fears of a space arms race. When something like this happens, NASA is definitely going to be concerned. Today, space is the frontier for human exploration. But there are other craft in the darkness. Some serve a sinister purpose. May the 23rd, 2014. The Russian Space Agency announces it's launching three satellites. Generally speaking, everybody who launches spacecraft tells everyone else what they're doing. It's the only way that you can ensure safety of the launch and the safety of the other country so that there's no difficulty or collision. The satellites, numbered 2496 to 2498, are part of the Russian Cosmos series. The Cosmos satellites are a Russian series of military communication satellites. They're used to relay messages from ships at sea and ground forces back to their base. Space enthusiasts across the globe tracking the three new satellites see something totally unexpected. A fourth object appearing in Earth's orbit. So when Russia launches three satellites and acknowledges that and tells everybody and then does a fourth, it's not only mysterious and concerning, it could be potentially dangerous. At first, amateurs assume that the mystery object is space junk. You do get plenty of space junk, which comes from the launches and from operations in orbit. But this is unusual. It seems to be moving in a fixed fashion. The US Department of Defense begins to track the fourth object. To their amazement, it starts to move like it has a mind of its own. This isn't a weather satellite or communication satellite. Those don't maneuver very much. If you have an object that shows up in space that is clearly under intelligent control, you're going to have a lot of people asking questions about what's going on. The mystery deepens when the object then seems to rendezvous with other Russian spacecraft. If in fact the Russians have very maneuverable spacecraft, satellite or otherwise, that can change orbit, that can go to other satellites, there are a lot of possibilities on what that could accomplish all the way from being a repair station or a refueling station for other satellites. Despite repeated requests for information, the Russians refuse to comment on the unidentified object. Part of the Russian rules are to deny everything and admit nothing. The Russians aren't saying anything. It's like, go home, nothing to see here. I never believe them when they say that. You know, I don't believe anything that they say anyway. So I feel like it's something that we always have to look into. The West faces the alarming prospect that the unidentified object could be a new breed of space weapon. The idea of anti-satellite weaponry is old. It goes back to when satellites were first developed. If somebody's going to put up a satellite, somebody else is going to say, well, we'll take it out. You don't need James Bond laser beams to kill satellites. You need other satellites to kill satellites. Things in orbit are actually moving quite fast. And to destroy something in orbit, all you have to do is put something in front of something else. If Russia's mystery object is a satellite killer, it could mark the beginning of a space arms race. For one of the great powers to destroy the satellites of another major power would be a really dramatic act and be the precursor to something major and dangerous. If it happened during a time of escalating tensions, it could be the prelude to war. Russia's military intervention in the Ukraine has raised tensions with the West to their highest level since the Cold War. And deployment of a space weapon would violate a major international treaty. Every major space power has signed up to the Outer Space Treaty, which bans the development of weaponry in space. That doesn't mean that it can't be done in secret, though. After seven months of increasing pressure from the West, Russia finally breaks its silence. They claim the object is nothing more than a university experiment. At first, Russia doesn't even acknowledge it. Then they say it's doing peaceful university science. Well, why didn't they say that when it was launched? It could be a spy satellite. 
it could have abilities to inspect things on the ground or other objects in space uh, that we don't know about. The Russian object gets the name Cosmos 2499. If it does have any offensive capabilities, they remain hidden. Russia rarely tells you the truth, it seems, and if they do, it's to their benefit. As NASA's New Horizons probe approaches the dwarf planet Pluto, Mission Control loses contact. We lost all communications with the spacecraft in a period of about a second and a half. Now, NASA must fight to save the $700 million mission. The whole mission could be over in the blink of an eye. NASA plans its missions of exploration in extraordinary detail. But there are things in the darkness that no human can anticipate. July the 4th, 2015. NASA's New Horizons space probe is just 10 days away from Pluto and 4.8 billion kilometers away from Earth. Its mission is to photograph Pluto's surface, collecting new data about this mysterious dwarf planet. The New Horizons project is the first time that humankind has explored Pluto in the Kuiper Belt. It's all coming to this moment after nine and a half years of flight and who knows how many years of development before that. So this is, this is right down to the wire. New Horizons Mission Control is preparing for the spacecraft's flyby of the unexplored world when it suddenly goes quiet. I got a phone call from my project manager, and he called me to say, Alan, we've lost contact with the spacecraft. That should never happen. The out of lock message on the computer screen means they are getting no data from the spacecraft. Something has happened to New Horizons on the approach to Pluto. It's about the worst thing that can happen in a space mission, because if you can't communicate with it, then you can't even begin to, to diagnose and solve the problem. Unless a solution is found, this could be the end of the mission. Over 15 years of hard work could all be for nothing. No communication means no data. Ten days before the flyby and only three days before the flyby data collection is to begin, we're presented with the biggest emergency in the mission. And the clock is ticking. We can't delay the flyby. NASA's experts call a series of crisis meetings. They suspect the issue lies with the probe's onboard computers, 